Good afternoon, good morning, good evening to each and every one of you who's watching right now. Um, welcome to Cross TV. Um, and, and here we are again. We're going to uh, talk about the Lord, our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, and His works and His words. And But before we do that, uh, we would like to thank uh, Dr. Do Joseph Nasralia for allowing us to be able to, uh, to, be, to be here and uh, um, spread the good news. And But, but most importantly, we want to thank our Lord God and Savior. Jesus Christ for for allowing us to be able to to do whatever we uh, we are called to do thank you God thank you God thank you Lord thank you Jesus and before we start our conversation um, we're gonna start uh, to worship because that's one of our purpose in life to worship our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ praise God <laughs> song we could ever sing worthy of all the praise we could ever breathe worthy of every breath we could ever breathe we'll live for you oh Jesus Jesus, the name above every other name. Jesus, the only one who could ever say, yeah. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe, we'll live for you. Oh, live for you. Holy, there is no one like you. There is none beside you. Open up my eyes in wonder and show me who you are and fill me with your heart and lead me in your love to those who. song we could ever sing worthy of all the praise we could ever bring worthy of every breath we could ever breathe we'll live for you oh Jesus Jesus, the name above every other name. Jesus, the only one who could ever say, yeah. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We'll live for you. Oh, we'll live for you. And oh. There is no one like you, there is none beside you, open all my eyes in wonder and show me who you are and fill me with your heart and lead me in love to those who Oh, 
talking about today. So uh, our topic for today is what is our purpose in life? Why are we in this world? Yeah. You know, and uh, how, how do we know if this is where we are supposed to be at? Yeah, and that song speaks volume, like yeah. to build your life on Jesus. Mm -hmm. And um, when you live your life for Jesus, like he fills he fills you up like who you are and like so when you're asking and and praying to god to lead you mm -hmm. to who he is and to love to lead you to love like those around you that's yeah. an, a perfect example like of a follower of jesus christ like mm -hmm. of um the christ like of jesus you know yeah, and yeah, and with that song, you kind of know already what is our purpose in life. Yeah. So uh, there you go. So that's the end of the show. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're still going to talk about it. So, <laughs> so pretty much, by, by now, um, mm. let me ask you, before you, you, you gave your life to Jesus, what, what did you think your purpose before? I didn't honestly think um, I was living like with a purpose. I didn't. Uh -huh. um, I, I came to know God when I was probably 14, 16. And um, my everyday life before I knew Christ, um, I used to do worldly things. And by worldly things, I mean hang out with friends. You know, I it was a routine of every day, like going to school or not going to school, ditching, drinking. You know, I was a bad, I was a bad person. But, but you really see the transformation work that Christ has done in my life. Um, I, I would get up and I wouldn't see like a meaning to my life. I like, it was as if it was just like a, a routine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, there was no love or peace or joy. It was just like me getting um, over my day to day. Ha um, living. You were just like pretty much like going through the motions. Yeah, right? like, it was depressing. It was mm -hmm. depressing. It was lonely. Um, it was sad. Mm -hmm. How about you? <laughs> tell, tell, tell me about your, your experience before. You know, you, you, what did you think what your purpose were, were when you were uh, growing like, up with Christ? Yo? Like what Bana said, we don't know. I don't know. I didn't know what <laughs> my purpose is in life. Like why was I... Was, why was a here in earth? Why yeah. was a burden? You know, but then, like, when I got to church and when I knew Christ, that's when the, the light was shedding. Like, oh, this is what God's purpose on you is to serve Him, yeah. to glorify Him, and to worship Him. Yeah, I thought I was just living to die. Amen. You know, I'm living, know, right? I'm living to have a career. I'm living to get married exactly. and have kids. But like the meaning behind those things like i was missing i thought it was just like to accomplish something to be successful but there's more meaning to life and purpose to your life than just those things because the worldly things like the worldly purpose is to have a family to have your house uh -huh. worldly, to have yeah. wealth but yes. that's not everything uh -huh. you know that's right that's just worldly yes, that's right same thing with me as well but but for me 
It took me a while before I, I, I gave my life to Jesus Christ. Yeah. It took me like 35 years, I guess. Right? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, I just, yeah, just re, re, I pretty much just recently gave my life uh, to Jesus yeah. Christ, just like Man. five years ago, so, so something like that. But yeah, before, my, my, me personally, I was just trying to, um, my, 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 motto, my motto in life before it was just to, 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 to try my best to be as, uh, as successful as I can be. Mm -hmm. Pretty much, Amen. and then you know, live a luxurious life. That's that was my plan. That was mm -hmm. my, and I think that was my purpose too. And then when I, when 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 I uh, had a child, when I had my when we had my daughter, I had my daughter. I thought my purpose was, to, you know, to raise my daughter, and to, to be with you know, raise her as a good good person or or whatever she want to be. Mm -hmm. But I guess not. God has a different plan for me. Yeah. I get, and then I realize right now that I'm a Christian that God's plan is better than my plan. Yes. So there you go. So what is our purpose in life? Um, the only way we would know to, to our purpose in life is to read the Bible. It's it's the Bible is the basic uh, uh, the ba instructions before leaving Earth, Earth, right? So so if you want to know your purpose in life, go read the Bible. So I, I just want to ask Arthur to read uh, uh, Deuteron Deuteronomy 6 to 5. What is God's plan for you? Let's read Deuteronomy 6 to 5. 6 5. Yes. Okay. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. There you go. God, God wants us to love him. And can you read Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 6, 24 as well, please? The Lord commanded us to obey all these decrees and to fear the Lord our God so that we might al always prosper and be kept alive as, th is, this, as is the case today. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. So pretty much God wants us to be obedient, right? Yes. Obedient. And uh, can you uh, please read First Thessalonians four to three as well, please? But before we discuss the next um, scripture for um, Deuter Deuteronomy six five, it says there right to to love the Lord, mm -hmm. your God, with all your heart, your mm -hmm. all your soul, and all your strength. That is mm -hmm. pretty much our whole being, you know. Exactly. And and the purpose of that is to to really glorify God with the mm -hmm. life that we have that has that came from him and to serve him and not it says there to love right mm -hmm. by loving not just it's for everyone to love everyone loving others and um and by our with our heart all our soul and our all strength commit yourselves wholeheartedly to the commands that i'm giving you today um, um we are born like in the image of christ right so we have to reflect in his likeness and also like manifest in his nature, his character and his being. And I feel like this is what it's saying, like to be wholeheartedly, um, solely in, in, in the strength that God has given us. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And uh, can you please read First Thessalonians 4, 3? 4, 3. It is God's will that you should be sanctified, that you should avoid sexual immorality. Mm that each of you should learn to control your own body in a way that is holy and honorable. So yeah, there you go. So pretty much, God, God wants us to, uh, to, to obey, mm -hmm. to love Him, and to be holy. Mm -hmm. That's what God wants us to be. And then, um, can you please read uh, uh, 2 Corinthians 5, 18 to 21. All this is from God. All this is from God, who reconciled us to Himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. That God was reconciling the world to Himself in Christ, not counting people's sins against them. And He has committed to us the message of reconciliation. We are therefore Christ's ambassadors. As though God were making His appeal through us, we implore you on Christ's behalf, 
be reconciled with God. We be reconciled to God. God made him who had no sin to be sin for us so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Yes, there you go. So first first thing this uh uh verses right here gave me the pretty much the instructions of what what is our purpose in life. They this right here gave me uh, the gave me the purpose right here. Uh, first but first though God wants us to uh, give glory to, to to give glory to him. God wants us to worship him. Mm -hmm. God wants us to praise him. And then next it's right here. In uh, the Second Corinthians, Paul, Paul tells us uh, that the role, that our role in this world as Christians is we must be an ambassador for Christ, you know, and uh, showing His love for humanity as revealed in the gospel. Just as we are reconciled to God through faith in Christ, is to others can be reconciled to God, as God uses us to share with them the message of reconciliation. So, pretty much following God's plan for our lives means that that we mirror the examples of the apostles. Yeah. That we should bring people to Christ as well. Mm -hmm. That's why that's why we're in, we're in the worship team right now, and that's why we we are we are we are here, sitting yeah. in front of the TV talking about mm -hmm. Jesus Christ because we we are supposed to be ambassadors and bring people to Christ. Yeah. But first things first, though. First things first, we should glorify the Lord first, worship the Lord, pray, read the gospel, mm -hmm. um, praise the Lord because yeah. that's what we're born for. That is our purpose in life. Right. And then Jesus Christ uh, uh, pretty much uh, gave us a gave us a an order to 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 bring people to Christ as well. Yes, Just like we are. Mm -hmm. you know? Like you mentioned, um, to reflect His likeness, right? And and that takes uh, that takes us like to take up our cross daily and like follow Him, denying ourselves, because um, Christ wants us to be like Him. How was Christ? Christ was an ambassador. He went to places and he shared the word. And um, that's what he wants from us, to die within ourselves. So that we can be in a position where we can be used. Mm -hmm. uh, and we can be sent to a place um, to share the word of God. Amen. Like, um, like when I say denying ourselves, it's, it's to like get rid of temptations and like the things that we do that hinders us from from growth because god wants to god wants us to be in a position right mm -hmm. in a position na magagamit tayo yeah. like how can we accumulate you know, how can we be cross christ like if we don't die to ourselves mm -hmm. if we don't take up our our cross daily mm -hmm. like there's a sacrifice to fulfilling the purpose of christ the purpose of our life there's a sacrifice and there's a like a point of submission to God to where you really have to die to yourself. Mm -hmm. And that's not easy because we're still in our flesh. We're still living in the world full of things. But with the help of the Holy Spirit um, in our lives, then we can f fulfill the purpose. Yeah, the purpose. Mm -hmm. pretty, pretty much, if, you, if you're confused, what is my purpose? Um, why, why, why am I here on earth? What, what, what am I doing? It's simple. God, we are born or we are put here by the Lord to uh, pretty much to give um, to, to, to give uh, what do you, glory to, to give glory uh, to for, for I put it it's one of my lyrics of my song it's uh, <laughs> I forgot the, the term but yeah pretty much to give pleasure to the Lord to, to, to pleasure him because it's, it's you know it's it, for his pleasure is why we for exist. His, yeah <laughs> for his pleasure is why we exist. <laughs> Yeah. And then, of course, how, how do we pleasure God? By, by, by glorifying Him, mm -hmm. by worshiping Him. I mean, we have nothing to offer. Nothing. We, cannot give, we, we have nothing to offer to God pretty much. Mm -hmm. We cannot give Him anything, any, any material things that we have. He owns everything. So there's nothing that we can offer to the Lord that, that you know, He doesn't have yet. Yes. But at least we can give Him our life. Amen. It's a living sacrifice. I can, we, can give him, we can give him our, 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 our praises, our worship. Mm -hmm. Always, let us always remember to give glory to the Lord in each and everything that we do. You know, because we, we, we owe him more than that. 
Yeah. Right? Plus, mm -hmm. uh, so it has to do really with surrendering your life and giving your heart to Jesus and allowing him to have authority in your life so that he will lead you there where you will fulfill your purpose. Mm -hmm. Submission. And uh, along the way, while we are doing that, um, God wants us to bring people to Him as well. Mm -hmm. So that's that's what that's why again that's why we're here. That's 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 our goal here, and hopefully we are able to bring bring people to Christ as well. Yes, so amen. I invite you if if you're listening right now, if you're wondering, if you're feeling anything, you if you're, you 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 have you have problems, you have any situation that you're dealing with, you know chaos, sickness, uh, depression, anxiety, uh, if you're in pain, whatever it may be, you're feeling anything, anything that you're, you're battling right now, just go ahead and surrender everything to the Lord mm -hmm. and, uh, and surely he, 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 will, he, will, he will take all of those away because, and uh, he will give you your purpose in life mm -hmm. because God Man, if he can do it to me, he can do it to you as well. Amen. 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 So Hallelujah. yeah, that, that sums up our conversation today. Um, and Vanna, can you please end up? Yes, of course. Let's all bow our heads. Um, dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we just want to thank you, God, for this opportunity and this privilege, oh Lord God, to share your word, Lord, and um, to discuss about our purpose in life. Lord, we thank you that you have chosen us and you have called us to do your work, so Lord. And I pray, Lord, that as we do, you continue to mold us, Lord. You continue to transform us, Lord, into your, into your image, Lord God. Um, help us, O oh Lord, to surrender our hearts, to surrender our will to you, Lord. For your will is, better, is greater than our will, Lord. Um, I ask, Lord God, that you continue to lead us and guide us to where we, will be, we would be able to um, walk through the path that you have, you have um, destined for us to walk and um, to be guided in, in the ways that you want us to live, O oh Lord God. And I pray that um, you would touch the lives of many through this message, O oh Lord God, to live for your purpose and your plans, O oh Lord God, because we know that your plans are good. Um, Lord God, uh, we just continue to give you glory, give you honor, and lift you up, Lord, in this um media ministry lord god and i i ask that you continue to pour out your anointing upon all of us lord god we thank you for um this day and we commit the rest of the day to you this we pray in jesus name amen, amen.